Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking, and today we've got the Moonlit Savior. Uh, one of the other few older box sets that I haven't opened yet, surprisingly. This one's not that expensive or anything, I just uh, haven't had a chance to open it yet. So we're going to do that today and see what cool stuff we can find. So let's jump into this thing and crack open this really interesting pink packaging. The classic pink Force of Will packaging. To reveal this beautiful red box. Look at that. Nice hard shell. Boom. Oh, look, it's got some nice colors on it this time. It's not just imprinted like it usually is. All right, Moonlit Savior. Let's see what we got here. Got this person. Oh, what do we got hiding back here? Oh, yeah. It's my Go Go's Most Wanted that I pulled. If you haven't checked out that video from last week, go ahead and do that. Fun video, some nostalgia coming at you. All right, let's prop this up. So half the box this week and half next week, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the second half of this box. All right, first pack. Let's jump into it here. We've got a nice Spirit of Veil. Vale. All right, Executioner. Some cool looking dude. Sacred Moon, Veteran, Demolition, whatever, Fallen Hero. And is this our rare? It is Keeper of the Presence. Very cool. She's got some really cool promo cards and stuff with her. And behind it, we've got Prasia's Call to Action as our common foil. So nothing special. Into the next, let's do this. All right, we've got uh, rubbish eggs. What does that say? Rue egg? Can't say that. See that. All right, uh, peasants, royalty. I'm a little bit off. I just woke up today. Just woke up just not too long ago. Dying Swallow, Knight of Solstice as our rare cool card. Love to get a full art of this one for sure. And ah, yes, we definitely want to get a full art of this. Do they have stamped in this one? I believe they have stamped. So we want to get a stamp to this. Avatar of the Seven Lands, Alice. Pretty cool card. But behind it, we've got a rare, oh, oh, I thought it said super rare, rare, Demonic Commander, which, really weird looking guy, ugh. All right, let's go. Let's see, the shade, the shoulder, the life, the seal of wind and light, dying swallow, wind sentinel, and we got solstice again, all right. And ooh, that looks very nice. A Regalia, Blade of the Seven Lands Excalibur. That is a rare, pretty sweet. Behind it, Blessing of Athena. Oh yeah, Athena's in this set. Yes, I definitely want to get Athena. She, she is an awesome looking card. All righty, let's go, 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 go. We got the soldier to start. And Temple Monk, Blessings of Athena. Da 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 da, Plinkish Black Moon, there's our rare. Prisia, Persant of Exploding F Flame as our rare, pretty cool. And then I see something nice and shiny behind it. What do we got? We got Keeper of the Future Scald. That is awesome, yes. Lovely card, really cool looking. And I've got the promo of this one, it is also super awesome, but this one's great. Let's keep it going, see what else we can dig into here. All right, getting through all the commons and uncommons. Heart Stirring Sage, interesting looking card, some cool artwork coming out. And there's our rare, Thumbelina as our rare. And then we've got Yadrazel, the World Tree, as our ruler. Oh, this is a ruler? What? Hold on. Oh, we're just going to go into this one. All right. It's a Magic Stone. Wait, no, not Magic, magic Seer. Seerer as a common. Wow, I can't talk. This says it's a ruler, but there's no, there's no back. Interesting, I don't know how that works. All right, let's see. We've got a little duck swan thing here, an Ibis. And what is that? Silencing spell, cool looking card. And here we go, ambush, black moon, wind. There's our rare crescent moon magician. And we've got a memoria as our rare, disasters memoria, pretty cool looking artwork. Behind it, Spirit of Veiled Souls, which is just a common. Let's keep cracking on here, see what we can find. We've got a Were Rabbit of the Aqua Moon. Pretty interesting. And there's our Veiled Spirit again. And who are you? Angel of Wisdom. Interesting. And then we got the Trader as an uncommon. Keep thinking that's going to be a rare. Keeper of the Past, Ura. Ertha. Ertha? I don't know how you say it, but that's our rare. 
got to get the full art of her, fire magic stone foil, and then we've got the noble Tuka Sonomi, or however you want to say it. I feel like I handled that one pretty well, but very beautiful rare foil. Some really nice foiling on that one. Awesome. All right, what do we got in here? Oh my, wow. <laughs> Gosh dang. I'm not even awake enough for this, but holy frick, we got a god pack. Holy cow, we keep getting these. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. And I only see that because we got a rare foil straight up on top. Orbs of Disaster. Something glass. Hear it, glass? I don't know what that is, but oh my gosh, we got a god pack. Cool. We're about to get some great freaking cards. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Wow, Interdimensional Apollo. Very interesting card. Okay. Illusory Demonic Globe of the Earth. Illusory Demonic Globe of the Earth. It's a Regalia Rare. That's a really cool looking card. And then we've got the Blade of Seven Lands Excalibur, which we just got. And Heavenly Instruments. What is that? Hy Hydro... What? Hydromonica? Hydromonica? Whatever. I don't know. Interesting looking card. Hey, we got our first J Ruler. We've got Cayuga, the Moonlit Savior herself. Very cool. That's a good one to get. I want to like flip this without revealing the next card. There we go. All right. We got Friend from Another World, the Cayuga. And then the, the flip side. There we go. The Moonlit Savior. Beautiful. We got the Moonlit Savior. Awesome. And then we've got another one, a J Ruler, Gil Lapis, the Primorgian or Pr Prigem, tri, pri, primogenitor, primogenitor. She Gil Lap is the primogenitor, which is a pretty popular character. People love Gil. Let's see what else he's got going on for him. Conqueror of the Black Moon. Some cool artwork on that side for sure. All right, let's see what our next one is here. All right, another J Ruler, Mastermind Shion. Um, that is very cool. I, she's like got French in her name. Coupe Diat. Mastermind Shion. Interesting. But yeah, we got uh, her, her backside, Songdress of Shangri La. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's keep going. Oh my gosh, we just got like four J rulers in a row. That's freaking awesome. Timeline Arsonist Alisaris or Alisaris. Alisaris. Very cool, very cool. Try not to show that back card here, but the Observer is the flip. And there we go. So, wow, that's a lot of J rulers in a row. And there's the Yadrazel again that does not have a flip side as our last card, but it is a ruler. It is a ruler. So, wow, freaking God Pack. Let's go. Oh, man, I was not awake enough for that, I feel like. <laughs> I am just like sleepy and like, oh my gosh, we got a God Pack. Okay, Timekeeper Elf, cool card. And there's our rare Demon of the Black Moon Lilith. She's gotten a few reprints, but a very cool card. Water Magic Stone. And then we got Muse, Celestial of Music, as our super rare. That is some beautiful artwork. I love that simplicity on that. Whoop! There we go. We have been getting super lucky with all these God Packs and Uber Rares. It's so awesome, but that's because I spend too much money on this game. All right, Persia, we've got her again, the Exploding Flame, very nice. And then behind her, we've got a super rare Keeper of the Seal. Pretty cool artwork on him, actually. Interesting. And behind that, we got Wall of Wind as a uncommon foil. All right, cracking on with this one. Seeing the foil at the back. What is it going to be? Ooh, wow, that's a cool card. Seal of Shining Bamboo. That's sweet looking. All right, so Wish of Night, and then our rare is the Demonic Commander, which we've gotten in a foil, Water Magic Stone, and then boom, we've got the Full Arts of Heavenly Instrument, Hydromonica, which looks absolutely lovely as a full art. I don't think our God Pack gave us any full arts. I'm gonna have to double check, but I don't believe any of them were full arts. They were just all foils. Get in there, let's see. We've got our Emissary to start. Our Were Moon Bunny Rabbit thing, whatever, thingamajig. Uncommon behind it, we've got Sacred Ox as our rare. That's a lame rare, if I've ever seen one. And oh, that's a pretty good one. Moon Breeze Memoria Full Art as our rare. Beautiful looking Memoria. Lovely. Okay, Full Art Memorias are good. Typically, typically they're good. Good to pull. All right, let's keep grinding on here. 
see what we can find. Another egg, another trader, and another Black Moon Lilith as our super rare. And then we've got Lucifer, Fallen Angelic Destroyer Lucifer. Oh, whoa, that one's crazy super rare. Very nice. Behind it, we've got Fallen Hero Uncommon. Huh. All right, keep it. Grind it on. Some Gil Lapis at the front there. And we've got our little duck, our little cat, our little Fallen Hero. And World Tree, is that our rare? Mm, yes, it is. All right, so Foment of the World Tree. And then behind it, uh, what is her name? Isanami, the Sealed Terror as our super rare, which we didn't get in our God Pack, but a cool looking full art if we got it. Knight of Sorrow, just a uncommon foil. Into the next one here, we've got another Binding Spell, Ambush, Moonbreeze Fairy, Flower Man, and the Sorrow Knight, and Thumbelina as our rare again. And then we've got Leader of the Four Sacred Beasts, Hung Long as our super rare. All right, behind it though, World Tree Protector as our rare full art. All right, very nice. It's not incredibly impressive, but it is a full art rare. I don't think it's worth anything though, unfortunately. Cracking on, let's get into this one here, see if we can find a really good pull for closing it out because we've only got a few more packs to go. Let's see here. Oh, did I pass? That's an uncommon. That's our rare, the Sacred Ox. And Celestial Music, just a super rare, the normal version. We already got the foil. Still a really cool looking card. And Memory of Disappearance is our full art rare. Don't think it's worth anything, unfortunately. Two more packs. Let's go, go, go. Ambush. Yep. And we've got the Timeline, Lunar, Lunar, Resistance, and Izumani's Curse. And then we've got, oh, well, we did the rare here, Crescent Moon Magician as our rare. And then behind it, we've got Valentina Puppet Monarch, which I really dislike the artwork on this one. It's so terrible. <laughs> that looks so wrong. Oh, man. Um, and we got the Timekeeper Elf as a foil. That's a cool foil for an uncommon. All right, last pack for today. Let's jump in here and see what we can find. We've got a nice wolf on the front, an anomaly, space time anomaly. Actually, I believe in foils might be worth something. I'm not sure. I know it's been reprinted. I'm going to have to look into that one. All right, we got the Prince, the Wall of Wind. And then we've got our rare Shion's Hymn. Very nice. And then Black Moon's Memoria. Wow, that is a cool looking foil. Very cool. Black Moon's. And then behind it, we've got Vel Severian dragon uncommon so just an uncommon foil all right so here's some of our pulls of the day i'm just going for some of the interesting picks too we've got the memoria the black moon our full art memoria which is always pretty nice demonic globe i'm thinking it might have some value although it's not the full art and that's the problem we didn't get a lot of full arts in this thing uh, so a lot of these are not going to be super highly valued. I think we just got to wait for those full arts. Future Skull, probably worth a buck or two, maybe. Hydromonic, this is the only full art that we really got, uh, which is crazy. Like, good full art, I feel like. Maybe some of the other ones we got will be worth something, but I doubt it. I feel like if anyone's going to have value, it might be this one. Uh, so we got that one. And then, of course, our J-Rulers, which sh should hold some value even in a non-full art, if they do have different versions of full art and non. But look at, man, there's blocks of text on these guys blocks of text on that guy so I'm, I'm not sure we're gonna have to see with the prices but in any case j rulers are always usually worth a, a buck or two so we've got them all in there and yeah those are our polls of the day prices up on screen for how we've been doing so far on this box make sure you stay tuned for next week's episode where we finish up the box and see what else we can find leave a like for that god pack and make sure to check out next week's and we will see you guys in the next video